question comes in your mind which is what is environment right so here the various definitions of environment are there the first is the circumstances then objects or condition by which one is surrounded right the second one which is the environment can be defined as a sum total of the all living and non living elements and their effects which uh, in uh, which influence human life right well uh, all living or our biotic elements uh, are animals plant forest fisheries and birds and etc and the non living environment or abiotic elements which is the water land sunlight rocks air and etc okay okay here the third definition of environment is also given the which is it is a sum total of air water and noise and the land an interrelationship between them and also with the human beings and other living organisms and the properties right okay now the next one which is here the classification of environment are there. okay basically environment is classified in the two category the first one which is biotic component and the second one which is abiotic component. right so here on screen you can see that biotic it means all the living organisms or living component and abiotic it means non living organism okay so what is a biotic component it means then plant algae human and etc and the non biotic it means the water then uh, nutrients then phosphorus various gases phosphorus then uh, carbon nitrogen and etc okay here the one classification are that it is also divided into the four major part which is atmosphere then the hydrosphere lithosphere and the biosphere right okay now the next one which is biotic component what is biotic component okay it is again classified in three major part which is the first one which is a producer then consumer and the third one which is decomposer right okay so what is producer so it means that producer it means it is also called autotrophs it means autotroph sorry autotrophs it means it is a convert energy into the food for example plant so plant use the process of photosynthesis to for the food purpose right so it is called a producer then after what what is consumer it means that it is called a heterotrophs it means that they depends upon the consumers are depend upon the producer for the food right and they continue your food chain right now the last one which is decomposer okay what is decomposer it means that uh, it is a break down the chemical reaction from the consumer and producer into the simple form and that are used again right it means that the chemical reaction is the breakdown and after that they convert into the simple form and they are used again right so this is the all about the producer then consumer and the decomposers right now the next topic which is what is ecology so ecology it means it is a, a greek word uh, then okis mean it means a house and the logos it means the study right it is related about the habita uh, habitation or place of the living right now uh, the definition which is ecology is the study of the interrelationship between the living organism and their physical and chemical uh, physical and the biological environment now the next topic which is what is biosphere right okay so it is a global sum of the all the ecosystem like atmosphere then hydrosphere geosphere and ecosphere right so it can also be term of the uh, term the zone of the earth life of the earth a closed system right apart from the solar and cosmic radiation and the heat from the interior of the earth and uh, largely it is a self regulatory system right okay now the next one which is a uh, natural cycle okay so here on screen you can see that the natural cycle in our environment basically it is divided into the two part the first cycle which is called hydrological cycle and the second one which is biogeochemical cycle okay so biogeochemical cycle it is also classified into the four cycle which is the nitrogen cycle then carbon cycle sulfur cycle and the uh, phosphorus cycle right but here in this lecture we discuss only the first cycle which is hydrological cycle right so we all are know about the hydrological cycle it is also called as a water cycle 
right so what is hydrological cycle so it is a in this system the movement of water between the earth and its atmosphere right it is a simple definition now the second thing which is water cycle describe the hot water is exchanged through the earth land and ocean in the atmosphere right and it is also described as it is a continuous movement of all the form of water vapor the water it means water in the form of uh, vapor and liquid and the solid right on in and above the earth surface it is called a hydrological cycle right now the next topic which is the various major process in the hydrological cycle so uh, the first process which is evaporation then second which is transpiration process the third process which is condensation process and the fourth process which is a uh, uh, infiltration and the runoff right first of all we start with the evaporation process okay so what is evaporation process it means that it is occur when the water changes from liquid state to the gaseous state right uh, it occur on the water surface like a uh, lake river ocean and etc the also the evaporated moisture is lifted into the atmosphere but some water vapor always remains in the atmosphere right so this is a first process then after the second one which is transpiration so what is transpiration process transpiration is a biological process uh, through through a biological process that occur mostly in the day right the water inside the plant is transferred to the atmosphere uh, as a water vapor and the uh, only a small portion of water is retained by the plant right now the third process which is condensation process so what is condensation process so condensation is the process by which water vapor changes into the water right okay water vapor condensed is through from the dew fog or clouds and it is take place due to the uh, cooling in the air cooling of air right now the next process which is precipitation okay so what is precipitation it means that it is a process that occur when the water particles fall from the atmosphere and reach into the uh, ground right so it uh, precipitated water may fall into the water bodies or on the land right uh, it can then go to the stream or penetrate into the soil uh, the next which is infiltration process uh, next is the next one which is infiltration and the run up right so what is infiltration process so it is a physical process involving the movement of what movement of water through uh, through the boundary areas where the atmosphere interfaces with the soil right uh, the infiltrated water and the water stored in the soil and can uh, become a subsurface run right and the last process which is runoff so what is runoff it means that a runoff is a flow uh, flow from a drainage basin in a surface stream uh, in generally it consists of a flow that is uh, unaffected by the artificial diversion or the storage right so it is the all about the uh, major processes in the hydrological cycle okay so here on screen you can see that the picture of hydrological cycle are that so basically so okay so here on screen you can see that the various processes are that the first is evaporation so here you can see that the from the river and the land the water is evaporated into the uh, evaporated right after that uh, it is also evaporated from evaporated by the uh, plant Uh, like a transpiration process and then after the water is converted in uh, the way water which is goes to the atmosphere and then after they condense so this process it is called condensation and after that the clouds are formed then the after the clouds are formed then the next process which is precipitation so that the water which is precipitated into the ground in the form of the rainfall right and uh, here the some part of the rainfall which is Uh, go to the uh, river then pond and ocean and the excess water which is go into the runoff then some part of water which is go into the ground it is called infiltration process so here this is a whole cycle of the hydrological cycle okay so this is the all about the two days lecture i hope you all understood about the two days lecture okay thank you for the watching thank you